Wojciech Hamacek watches televised images of amnestied convicts leaving prison as free citizens. The same people he says are responsible for his losing everything he'd worked so hard for. Now he'll be in debt for the rest of his life. I'll tell you quite openly and with some bitterness. I'm no friend of amnesties like this. It's a sweeping amnesty that doesn't just affect small-time hoods. At least 120 really big fish, who had thousands of victims, are in among them. In the late 1990s, Hamacek had a house built. He paid some 100,000 euros, but only got a bare shell. The managers took the money out of the construction company and let it go bankrupt. Hamacek had to sink another 100,000 into finishing the house. But that wasn't all. He feels cheated by the bankruptcy trustee who required him to pay another 100,000 to free the house from bankruptcy. That ruined him. I have to come up with some 1,000 euros for the house every month. Those are the installments I have to pay for another 15 to 20 years, with interest on top. So there's no question of retirement. My son supports me, so I can come up with the money. But we might end up having to sell the house because we're running out of money. And we're running out of the energy to scrape it together every month. President Václav Klaus's New Year's speech from the Prague Castle, residence of the Czech president, outraged Hamacek. Klaus took barely half a sentence to mention the amnesty. One of every four prisoners in the Czech Republic walked free, 6,000 people altogether, and several cases were dropped. Among those released were the heads of the company that cheated Wojciech Hamacek. The ex-convicts see the outgoing president as a hero. It's very nice. I thank you, Mr. President, for giving me this second chance. Jerzy had already served two years and had one more to go. But now he's home. And many of his countrymen are not happy about it. The president's speech has been met with widespread disbelief and outrage. Even the Czech government was taken by surprise. Czech prisons may have been overcrowded, but the foreign minister says this was hardly an acceptable way to relieve the situation. It really could have been limited to petty criminals in for crimes that wouldn't even be punished with a prison sentence in most European countries, but with house arrest or community service. It's just not acceptable for the Republic's greatest scandals to be pardoned here. Then why did President Václav Klaus declare the amnesty? Why did he take the risk of alienating not just Wojciech Hamacek, but almost the entire Czech population? As Prime Minister in the 1990s, Václav Klaus preached the virtues of the free market. But he seemed little concerned with the corruption that came with it. Many Czechs say a lot of the people walking free now are part of Klaus's old boys network. The amnesty was a get-out-of-jail-free card for the big fish as well as the small fry. After 10 years in office, Václav Klaus cannot run for another term. Wojciech Hamacek's attorneys believe his last official act was a kind of thank you gesture to his old friends. Among those who've been amnestied and whose proceedings have been dropped are people who had some kind of connection to the president. Or he just wanted to help them. I'll say right off that I can't prove it. But why else would he do this at the end of his term? There wouldn't be any other point to it. Everyone here is asking the same question. Why? The president's action has made him less popular than ever among Czechs. Many local administrations and schools are already taking his picture down, even before he's left office. Nearly all of Hamacek's neighbors in Velky Pčilepi were cheated by the same company, whose managers are now back on the streets. Many of the residents here haven't been able to finish their houses for lack of funds.
now on top of the financial losses, they've also lost the justice they thought they'd received. It's bad from a moral standpoint as well. The guilty parties should carry the blame, at least morally. But now they can start all over again, and who knows, maybe even claim damages. Anything is possible these days. And if you consider the harm they've done here, almost a thousand people lost their homes and savings, and they're left with just these ruins. It's a real slap in the face that such an amnesty could ever happen. Wojciech Hamacek is 64, and he'd have to work for another 20 years to pay off his debts. Those responsible are now free, and Hamacek has lost his faith in Czech justice.